Hey there, guys. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That is right, you guys. In today's video, we're going to be having a discussion on what the Phoenix Suns preseason minutes will look like. But before we get started, you guys, make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. So let's dive right into the video. The Phoenix Suns preseason does begin Monday, October 4th at the Sacramento Kings at 7 p.m. Then we verse the Lakers back-to-back -back on October 6th and October 10th. And then the preseason will end October 13th versus the Portland Trailblazers. Now, keep in mind, you guys, no matter what happens during NBA preseason, just keep in mind that it is just preseason. The Suns went 0-4 last year, so try not to overreact. But if I know me like I think I do, I probably will overreact to what happens during preseason. But let's dive into it. Let me just ask you guys some questions and give you guys my thoughts. So starting it all off, you guys, I feel like a lot of the returning cast from last year will get a lot of preseason minutes. I mean, Cameron Payne, Cameron Johnson, Frank Kaminsky, Abdel Nader, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like they will get their preseason minutes. But here's where I want to start asking the questions. Do the Phoenix Suns protect their starters at all costs? I mean, will Chris Paul even play in the NBA preseason? What about Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton and Jay Crowder and Mikhail Bridges? I feel like if those guys do play, they will not play much. I mean, maybe 20 minutes max. I kind of feel like they played a lot last preseason, but that was a different time, different situation and everything going on with the pandemic and all that. Uh, but we will have to see. And who knows how many games the Phoenix Suns starters will play. I mean, maybe Chris Paul and Devin Booker only see two preseason games for maybe 20 minutes or less. Once again, we will have to see. Do the Phoenix Suns play it safe? I really, really doubt. I feel like it's unlikely that none of the starters will play. I mean, I don't think that really happens much. Uh, but who knows? I mean, the Phoenix Suns did just make the NBA Finals. Monty Williams might want to play it safe and barely play those guys. But if I know the Phoenix Suns like I think I do, these guys are hoopers. They want to play. And I feel like depending on the shape that DeAndre Ayton arrives in, maybe DeAndre Ayton will see a lot of minutes because of conditioning. And also, you guys, could everybody on the roster play? I mean, even the newest addition, Chasen Randall. I mean, could everybody see minutes during the preseason, even if it's like five or ten minutes here? Who knows? And I also want to ask, do you guys think that the veterans can pick and choose how long they want to play during the NBA preseason? I mean, it's not like you're going to play Chris Paul 30 minutes every preseason game. So I wonder if they can kind of pick and choose that. Even guys maybe who have been in the league like five years or so, I wonder if they have a choice on that. Also, you guys, I feel like maybe, just maybe, Monty Williams will kind of pick the minutes and rosters and rotations depending on what other teams are doing. Like, are the stars of this league going to play? What will the matchups look like in that case? I feel like especially when we play the Lakers, I wonder if Monty Williams will go with a lot of our starters and veterans. Uh, and again, if I know Monty Williams, I feel like he's going to play players during the preseason based off how they looked at training camp. I mean, it does make sense. Monty likes to play players who work hard in practice. Uh, so we will have to see. But it's a little bit tricky because a lot of the veterans are probably going to want to rest as much as possible before the season. But a lot of guys will want to get a lot of runs and warm up before the season. So I feel like the bench could definitely be exercised. And you can see a lot of the bench players getting 20, 25 minutes, if not more. Also, you guys, I'm going to do my best to try to keep a, keep an eye on everybody during preseason. But a lot of players that I will focus on is definitely Jalen Smith. I feel like Jalen Smith could get a lot of minutes. Now, I'm not trying to pick on him here. That is if he is not traded before then, especially with Dario Sarge out for the foreseeable future. You know, Jalen Smith had a great NBA summer league. So Jalen Smith, in a way, could be playing for his job on the Phoenix Suns. I mean, if he doesn't have a good preseason, you guys, who knows what his future will look like. But I am rooting for him, and I hope that he does not do a great job. I know there's a lot of big-time Jalen Smith believers out there. Uh, Landry Shamit. I wonder if Landry Shamit could possibly start a lot of preseason games. 
We're going to have to see how he plays, how he fits in with the rest of the roster. I know he's going to want to get warmed up for the season. So we'll have to see what happens with Landry Shamit, but I'm really excited to see him play. And then Alfred Payton, the third string point guard, you know, uh, see how he's going to run the offense. I feel like it's going to be a preview of how he's going to perform for us. I feel like Alfred Payton could get a lot of preseason minutes. You know, Chandler Hutchinson is a guy that comes into mind. So that is it, you guys. Those are my thoughts on the Phoenix Suns preseason minutes, rosters, and rotations, and all that. What players do you want to see play in the preseason? Should Monty Williams protect the starters at all costs? As always, guys, please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it, and I'll see you guys next time.